Hi everyone, welcome back to the Something Corny studio. In this video we're going to do a little bit of plaiting today and I've chosen to show you one of my favourite plaits, the arrow plait. It's a plait that I use a lot in my own work and quite a few of the pieces on the board behind me um, have been made using that plait. But it's also a plait that I enjoy teaching others to do because Although it looks as though it should be complicated, it's actually very straightforward to do and it's quite easy for someone to pick up the pattern and it grows very quickly. We know this plait as the arrow plait or sometimes six straws around a core plait and there's quite a number of variations with this plait and I'll tell you about them a little bit later. But I first want to show you the basic plait so I have already dampened straws and let's have a go at doing that now. On the table in front of me I've got an example of the plait that we're going to work on today. So this is the arrow plait. But also behind it I have two examples of work that I have done with that plait. So you can see here with the heart that I've used two of those plaits and tied them together in a heart shape. But if you look at the mushrooms, you can see that I've used the, the same plait and this time used them for the stems. So it's a very versatile plait and certainly well worth getting to know. So if I pop these to one side, then we'll bring in the straws that we're going to need for the plait. So for the plait, we're going to need seven straws. We're going to plait with six of them and one is going to be the core straw and the core straw is the short straw so I have six longer plaiting straws and I have one core straw and the core straw can be quite a bit shorter because it actually doesn't work at all. The other things you'll need when I'm teaching this plait I recommend to the students to use a wire. Now this is a florist's wire, it's about 18 gauge I think. Um, and this I'm going to use just as an aid. So this wire is going to come back out of the plait at the end again. And then of course you need a pair of scissors and you'll need some strong thread. Now I've gone ahead and I have actually tied up my straws already. I've shown you how to prepare straws. These are all dampened straws and I've shown you that in a previous video. I've also shown you how to make the clove hitch, which is what I've done here. So we're ready to start. I take the wire and find the short straw, which is here. And I'm actually going to pop the wire down into the straw like that. Push it all the way down until it goes. I can feel it right down here near the tie. Okay. Now, with this one, because I want to take the wire back out again, I've actually made sure that the short straw is a little bit shorter than the wire. And that then gives me a little piece of the wire that I can then pull on at the end and pull it back out again. Of course, there might be a project where you actually want to leave the wire in, maybe to help you bend it round in a specific shape, and that's absolutely fine too. If I wanted to leave the wire in the finished piece, I would have actually popped my wire into the core straw before I tied the seven straws together. But because I want this to be removable, then I've tied the seven straws together first, then I've popped the wire in. Okay, so there's various ways of doing it depending on the project you're working on. Okay, with the ears hanging down, I'm going to divide the straws into two groups of three with the core straw in the centre. Okay, the core straw is a little bit on the heavy side at the moment because of the wire, but that will quickly write itself as we plait. So if you notice, I've opened up the straws so that I have a 90 degree angle between the core straw and my working straws. 
And the pattern, I'm going to start on my right hand side. And the pattern is where I'm going to take the bottom right straw. So I'm going to take this one and I move it diagonally across the front of my work. So if I hold everything in position, just so that you can see what I've done. Okay, so this is the straw that I've taken across diagonally. I'm then going to wrap that same straw around the core. I'm bringing it around the core and it's going to land on the top of the right hand group. So it's come from the bottom of the group round the core and it's ending up on the top of the right hand group. Now we change sides. So I've got hold of my straws in my right hand here. My left hand is going to do the work this time. So bottom left straw and this time it's going to go behind everything. Can you see how it's going behind these two and also behind the core? Behind everything. Again, cutting that angle in half. And then I'm going to bring it round the front of the core and it's now going to sit on the top of the left hand side. So again, we move now to the right, bottom right. When you start this plait, you really have to decide which straw is the bottom straw. But once all the straws have moved once, you'll find they sit in the, the correct position. So across and round. So it goes from the bottom to the top. And then bottom left goes behind. So remember it's going behind its two partners. It goes behind the core and then it's going to come towards you this time around the core and sit on the top left. So we'll go bottom right, across diagonally, round and it becomes top, right and then behind, bring it round. It's tricky to show you because I'm trying to keep the space clear so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm holding my straws quite lightly but at the same time making sure that I'm in control of all of them and you can actually see them all sitting nicely there. They've all worked now and they sit in their own position. So there's no doubt now that this is bottom right. So it comes diagonally across, it goes round the core, and now it's going to sit on top. And then it comes behind, round the core, and it sits on top. So bottom right. And actually, if you have a look, there's a little space just here and that's where this straw is going to sit into. It fits in there, it comes round the core and sits on top. With bottom left, when you move to the left hand side, take the bottom left and make sure that you go behind these two and behind the, the center core. But you can see why this uh, plait is called six straws around a core because that's exactly what you're doing. That's all it involves is taking the straws and working your way around the core. So bottom right, across and round. Bottom left goes behind and round. You can actually do this plait by going across, round the core so that it sits on top. And then you can actually swing your work right round so that I can go bottom right again. It's very tricky to show you on the camera, but you can swing your work round. But I find that very awkward and it's quite easy just to use your right hand and then your left hand. And you can see how the plait begins to grow quite quickly. So I'll work away here just to let you see a few more and you would continue in this manner until you have a long enough plait for your project. And you can see how it grows very quickly. So it's quite a satisfying plait to, to make as you can actually watch it growing.
There we go. You continue on up the plait until you get to the length that you need for your project. And then bring the six straws up together again and then you tie the straws tightly just at the end of the plait. And if I bring in the finished plait again, you can see that here. Now, if you've used a wire and you want to take the wire out, remember to take the wire out before you tie here. If you're leaving the wire in, then that's fine. Um, if we have a look at another plait, so if I show you this one, this is one of the variations I was talking about earlier. Now, we used six straws for the plaiting with three either side of the core. But in this variation, I used seven straws for plaiting. And on my left, I had two straws. And on the right, I had five straws. And that's what's given me this long stitch and then the short stitch, a long stitch and then a shorter stitch. So it's worth experimenting with different amounts of straws, sometimes even, so you could have two on either side sometimes an odd number either side and look at the effects that you get. But I think you'll agree that the finished plait is quite a smart looking plait. Well, I hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit about the arrow plait and we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.